Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. Today I am super excited. We are going to be talking about my favorite things for summer. I am so happy that it's finally starting to get warmer and summer is right around the corner. I think it's actually officially summer this week. I'm going to keep this very beauty focused. I do have a few accessories and other little fun things that I want to talk to you guys about, but I want to keep this really focused on skin, a little bit of makeup, and some body care as well. So these are my holy grail cannot live without things for summer. First, let's talk about some skincare. Skincare is super important all year round, but definitely in the summer, you wanna make sure that you're using a really good SPF. I love the sun, I love being outside, I love feeling it on my skin, but I'm also very conscious of what it's doing to my skin, especially on my face. I always, always make sure to wear SPF, especially in the summer, and I kind of layer up around my eyes. I'm sure you guys already know that sun exposure is one of the main things that ages our skin and can cause sunspots, wrinkles, and just a loss of elasticity, which is what keeps it firm. So a good SPF is key. Now, it's really important if you have acne-prone, sensitive, problematic skin types like I do. I have the most finicky, problematic skin. A lot of you guys compliment me on my skin and it's literally the best compliment ever because I do suffer with my skin a lot. I have to baby my skin. I have to make sure that the products that I'm using are clean but still effective and that my skin is like overall happy. You know, like I can't just pile on lots of stuff. I really have to be careful with what I use and especially with SPF. So there's two different types of SPF. There is chemical and there is physical. Chemical sunscreens will absorb the UV rays and then your skin will metabolize them and break them down and kind of like disperse them. Whereas a physical sunscreen will literally just bounce the ray off of your skin. So it's reflecting the light and chemical sunscreens. I had to learn this the hard way, but they are super, super irritating for a lot of people who have problematic or acne prone sensitive skin. I would highly recommend to go for a physical sunscreen if you do have sensitive acne prone skin or your skin just tends to be like aggravated by a lot of product, then physical sunscreen is the way to go. I have a few that I like and that I kind of rotate between because I'm skincare obsessed and I love to try different things. But one that I really love and that I've spoken to you guys about before is from Ren. This is the Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. It says on the packaging that it's a mattifying sunscreen. It looks like this, but I find it to be more of like a velvety type of finish. So it's not mattifying where it feels dry on the skin or it feels like crackly. It's such a nice formula. As most physical sunscreens, it does go on white, but then when you blend it in, it totally blends into your skin and there's no, like I have it on today for example, and there's no difference in my skin. I don't feel like it leaves a white cast or anything like that, which is an issue with a lot of physical sunscreens, but this one works beautifully, especially under makeup. And the reason I keep going back to this is because it is more of that kind of like matte velvety finish. I love for my skin to be glowy, but I think in summer you just kind of get that natural glow just by yourself. I still love to have like a nice highlight on, but I don't need my whole skin, especially in my T-zone. So it works great as like a base for your makeup as well, kind of like a primer, but then it does have the SPF in it. And as with all products from Ren, it's a very clean formula. There are no silicones in here, there are no parabens, there's no mineral oil, color, fragrances and it's got 22% zinc oxide in here so it's a mineral based physical sunscreen physical sunscreens have also been known to work just a little bit better than chemical ones so if you want a really really good SPF this summer I would highly highly recommend this one another essential for me during the summer is a good exfoliant so I like an exfoliating toner that has an AHA and BHA blend you guys know that I've talked about this product tons before on my channel this is the Ren ready steady glue Low daily AHA tonic. So this is like a toner that has exfoliating benefits. So it has that blend of AHAs and BHAs that are gently going to exfoliate the top layer of your skin. It kind of like eats away at all of the dead skin cells. So you're getting an exfoliation, but it's not with like physical beads or anything that's like rubbing against your skin. It's all done in a chemical way. From my own personal experience, I think one of the key, key things when it comes to beautiful glowing skin is regularly exfoliating your skin. If you're new to skincare, get yourself a good exfoliator. I recommend a chemical one like this. 
it's more gentle on the skin and all of the AHAs and BHAs in here are naturally derived so for example the salicylic acid comes from willow bark extract a good exfoliator like this is amazing for just brightening the complexion for increasing cell turnover so that new fresh skin cells can come to the surface there's absolutely no point in putting really expensive serums and creams and stuff on your skin if the products can actually penetrate into the pore that's why exfoliation is really important because you want to lift and remove those dead skin cells and that build up so a product like this is really great for resurfacing the skin for brightening the skin um, evening up discoloration or hyperpigmentation and scarring as well this video is in collaboration with them which I kind of have to like pinch myself about because I genuinely love this company I've been using these products way before a sponsorship was even mentioned or talked about so I'm very very excited about that I will make sure to have links for these products down below in the description box if you want to check them out I will make sure to do a full updated skincare routine showing you guys exactly what's in my routine from start to finish but for now I want to move on to some of my favorite makeup items that I swear by in the summertime the first thing that I absolutely cannot live without is a good golden liner right here in the inner corner of my eye or in like the inner half of my lower lash line. When it's hot and I get sweaty, I tend to get this like black kind of buildup right there in the lower part of my eye and my makeup just ends up looking tired. I've been out, I'm doing things, I'm talking, moving my face. For whatever reason, I get black right there in the inner corner. So an amazing trick to combat this and to completely prevent this from happening is to put on a waterproof gold liner right there. Before I was using the one from Marc Jacobs. It was in a pencil form. The color on that was nice, but I didn't love the applicator. It was kind of dry and sometimes it would pull here on the skin. So instead, I found this one from MAC. It's the Liquid Last Liner in the color Naked Bond. And this is a wet type of liner. It's not a pencil anyway. So it comes in a little package like this and there is a brush tip on the end and it's in a liquid form but it dries down completely to a dry finish. I'll do a little swatch for you guys over there on my hand. Not sure if you guys can see that but I will make sure to do a close-up as well and I also do have it on my eyes today if you guys can see a little like twinkling in my eyes. It's probably this. It completely prevents any black mascara or liner or anything from building up in this part of my face and my makeup just looks so much more fresh and clean throughout the day. So this is a trick that I would highly highly recommend and I do really love this color as well. It's like the perfect kind of coppery gold. It's very bronzy but still gives you a nice kind of light golden shimmer to your eyes and I love the formula as well I like that it's liquid so you don't pull on your skin but then it sets completely dry and it is a waterproof formula as well so I would highly highly recommend this another thing which is a complete essential for me during the summer is a good highlight this is something that I showed you guys in my most recent uh, makeup video it is from Charlotte Tilbury this is called the Glowgasm Beauty Light Light wand. It looks like this and it has this little foamy uh, tip applicator that you can just dot on your face. So I really like this of course for this part of my cheeks. Look how beautiful that is. I do have a powder highlight on top but I think this is beautiful just on its own. You can wear this directly on your skin if you don't want to put on any foundation or anything like that. I love the golden tone of this as well. There is a swatch it is absolutely beautiful. Speaking of highlight, there are of course so many beautiful ones on the market. I've talked to you guys about some of my favorites in the past, but the one that I have on today, I just thought I would let you know. It is from Becca. It is their Champagne Pop Highlight. It is such a classic, and again, it has that beautiful gold tone to it, which if you have more tense skin, or even if you have lighter skin or much darker skin, I think this is a highlight that is just so universal. It's a classic. Becca, I think, make one of the best formulas when it comes to highlight especially if you want like a really more intense glow but then again if you want it to be more subtle you just take a little bit you can take your beauty blender on top and just like bounce it over and it gives a more natural finish to the skin so love this one and as we're on the topic of cheeks you guys know that I love a good bronzer and a good blush as well so bronzers I've talked to you guys about lots in different videos but I do want to mention this one it is the radiant bronze light from hourglass this one always makes 
makes its way back out of my shelves during this time of year. I usually love a matte bronzer for just sculpting the face. I think it just gives like a more natural sun-kissed and tanned appearance to your skin but i do think that there's a place for radiant bronzers as well like kind of more glowy bronzers and this is a beautiful way to do it hourglass i think make one of the most natural looking i wouldn't say it's like a highlighty bronze it's just a very natural glowy bronzer and it's a product that i use every single summer i've been using this for the past few years and it's just a product that i have a huge huge love for and i would highly recommend and and blush I love me some blush some pinky peachy blush I think it just adds so much life and color to the face this is the one that I've been using a lot lately it's from Mac it's called peaches I also use this in my most recent makeup tutorial would highly highly recommend this and I like to go for more matte blushes you guys might know that based on my previous recommendations because I think that when it comes to cheek products and especially in the summer when it's hot again you just have like a natural heat and glowiness to your skin if you do have texture on your skin or if you're suffering with acne or if you have a lot of scarring or whatever it is putting products on your face that are too glowy and too shimmery can actually accentuate those areas a lot and definitely when it comes to like this part of my face so if you go for a more matte product like this then you'll still get that beautiful color but it won't be accentuating the texture underneath and then you can just go in with a highlight specifically in the areas where you want that glow so for example like right there maybe down a little bit on the center of your nose in the inner corners of your eyes a little bit on your cupid's bow and then you can have a controlled glow <laughs> not like an overall glow especially again if you go in with a primer or an spf like this which is a little bit more mattifying again you can really just control where you want the glow and still have that beautiful glistening skin but it's not to a point where you feel uncomfortable and it feels too much or too texturized. So I think it's really nice to have a balance and you know makeup and skincare and all that can give you that really beautiful look when you use the right products in combination. So love a good matte blush. Last thing as we're on makeup, I just thought I would show you guys in case you guys are wondering, I do have on the Charlotte Tilbury palette again today. This is the Dreamgasm eyeshadow palette, but I just use this color over here. So if you want a similar look, but you don't necessarily want to go out and buy this palette, this is the color that I have on my lids today. It's a very nice, soft, kind of red, pink, mauve toned color, and I think it's beautiful for summer, for all year round. I think it is super pretty. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about my favorite body care product for summer. So just as with our face, the skin on our face, the skin on our body needs to be exfoliated as well. I think it's one of the keys for glowy skin. And there are a few different techniques and ways that I like to exfoliate my skin. First, and I think a very popular method is to use something like this, a body brush that you use dry. This is not only great for exfoliating the skin and for regenerating the top layer of your skin, but it's also really good for lymphatic drainage, for increasing circulation. It's great to smooth the appearance of cellulite. You can do this on the back of your legs and always make sure that you are doing it towards your heart because that's the way that your blood flows in your body and you want to help your body and help your lymphatic system so dry brushing is of course a great option something else that I love which is just a very simple but very effective way is to use a good um, body mitt like a bath mitt when you're taking a shower this has been my choice of exfoliation for the longest time Ooh. we have this little thing in our bathroom and these are all mitts that you can put your hand through like so I get this wet and then I put my favorite body wash in here and then I will scrub my skin in circular motions. The point is not to make your body really red or to make it sensitive or anything like that, but you want to again just gently exfoliate and remove the top layer of your skin because you want to get that nice glow. And exfoliation is just in general really good for anti-aging, for keeping the skin firm and tight and of course nice and glowy. So I do love these. You can get them on Amazon in bulk for a really affordable price. If you guys want something a little bit more fancy well it's 
not that fancy, but it's a little bit more. This is a bath mitt that I got from Muji, and it's a little bit more exfoliating. Again, you just slip your hand in like that, you get it wet, and then you just go to town with exfoliation. It is a little bit more of like an exfoliating surface, so you get a little bit deeper, and it's really nice. I'll see if I can find this online and have it linked, but if you guys have any Muji stores or anything around you, um, and you want to check it out, then this is where I bought it. With these towels, I like to use a really good body wash. So you guys know that I'm all about my scents and I love to have like a really good fragrance in the shower. Another body wash that I like for when I really want a deep exfoliation is from Pixie. This is the glycolic body wash with glycolic acid and aloe vera. So this is like skincare for your body. So you're getting some of those good ingredients that are found in, you know, traditional skincare for your face, but also for your body, which I love. This is a chemical exfoliant. It's not physical, but you do get a bit of that physical exfoliation from the bath mitt, so you get a little bit of both. Once my skin is nice and exfoliated, I go in with a body serum. So this is again from Ren. I've been using this for over a year and I love it. I swear by it. I've gone through several bottles of these. In fact, this one is almost finished. So this is the AHA Smart Renewal Body Serum. Again, you're getting some of those good ingredients that are found in traditional um, face skincare products on your body, which I love because we've also got to take care of this part of our skin. Our skin doesn't just like end on our face. This is really nice and lightweight. It does say that it gives a glow to the skin, but I use this more for just like nourishment. It's got lactic acid to gently exfoliate, probiotic extract to strengthen the skin's barrier, and xylitol to help plump and smooth. I mainly put this on my chest, on my shoulders, and on my legs because that's where my skin is like most exposed and especially most exposed to sun as well. And then I love a good body lotion. This is one that I've been using at the moment. It's from Kai. I also have their body wash. You don't have to use this this one but I think it's just the fact of moisturizing and of course exfoliating so whatever you want to use if you like the scent or if you prefer like a scented free one go for what you like but this is one that I've been loving so I just thought I would mention that and then for one of the keys for my summer skin and what I usually mix into my body lotion I've talked about this for years this is from Nukes it is their multi-purpose dry oil for face body and hair it says it's got precious botanical oils it nourishes and leaves a satin finish and it illuminates and illuminates it does <laughs> the product in here is just the most beautiful golden delicious concoction i've ever seen it is absolutely gorgeous and you could use this straight up on your skin if you wanted to or what i like to do as i mentioned is just mix it in with my body lotion of choice when i wear this in the summer so many people ask me what do i have on my skin what is the glow and it is this i do also like different body oils and things like that but if it's like a glowy kind of reflective illuminating product it's usually this the next thing i want to talk about which is especially important during the summertime are feet the skin on our feet so of course in the summer our feet are a lot more exposed and for someone like me i don't know about you guys but my heels get very very dry i love to walk and especially in the summer i do a lot more walking my feet just get dry and a lot of excess skin builds up and just all that nice stuff something that is such an essential for me in the summer is to take care of the heels of my feet so i like to use something like this it's very simple but it's a effective and it works. I keep this in my shower and I don't do this every single day. A couple of times per week I will put some um, body wash on here and I will scrub my heels. <laughs> Not the most glamorous thing but it's important, it's essential and it keeps my heels smooth. After I've exfoliated my heels I put on these beautiful socks. So these are heel socks and they look like this. I actually sleep with these on and inside they have this um, silicone type of fabric like right where the heel is so I will put on a really hydrating foot cream recently I've been using this organic one from Lavera but you can find different ones that you like and I will coat my feet in that especially my heels I will put these on and I'll go to bed I'll wake up with the most softest baby smooth non cracked heels and it is beautiful. You can get them on Amazon and I really like the silicone part in here because it prevents the creams from soaking up into the fabric like a traditional sock. So it really just like hydrates and concentrates all the goodness for your heels. So 
If you're someone like me and you suffer with your heels, then I would highly, highly recommend these. The last thing I want to talk about when it comes to body is a good fragrance. I have two here that I want to recommend to you guys. The first one is such a classic for me. I've been wearing this for almost three years now, especially during the summer. It is from Estee Lauder. It's called Bronze Goddess. This is my second or third bottle by now. It is oh, so, so good. So beachy and just like... Mm. It feels like it just transports me to a beach in my swimsuit. It kind of has that sunscreen scent, which I love. I think it's more the association of memory and like what I remember when I smell that. Maybe that's why I love it, but it kind of has that like beachy coconut sunscreen type of smell. It is so delicious, so amazing. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this in the summer, so I would recommend checking out that one. Another one that I love, which is a more recent discovery, I discovered this a few months ago. I actually worked with Bulgari when this fragrance came out and I genuinely love the scent. It is so fresh and so summery and just airy and lightweight and just like you have a spring in your step, you know? It also has this kind of like expensive high-end feel to it. It's just very good. Mo loves this and I really love the packaging of this as well. It's super, super beautiful and the scent is amazing. I actually have one more body care thing that I quickly want to talk about which is also a very big essential for me and that is this robe. It's a towel that has a velcro strip on the, the top part and this is what I use when I get out of the shower before I get dressed into my clothes. Usually I'm a big fan of robes, like traditional robes, but when it's hot I just I don't want to wear a lot of clothes, especially if I've just had a shower, I don't want to start sweating and something like this is great. I got this on Amazon, it's nice and affordable, it's made out of uh, like a traditional towel, like terry type of material, so if this gets dirty, if you get makeup on it or if if it's just you know you need to freshen it up you can just throw it into the washing machine you don't have to be too careful with it and it stays nice and fresh and it's just very easy and quick and convenient to put on you just wrap it around your body you close it like this it stays up and you stay nice and cool underneath the last thing I want to talk about are a few different accessories and a uh, little like fashion things that I love this time of year first up I want to talk about sunglasses so these are the ones that you guys usually see me wearing in my vlogs they are from Celine and they're nice and big and I love what these look like. I love big glasses like this, so these are definitely one of my favorites. Another pair that I love, these are new from my friend Tamara's new sunglass brand called So Shady. How beautiful are these? So they've got gold um, hardware and this kind of like mirrored gunmetal gray face. They are so beautiful. I absolutely love them and I love wearing them like a little bit lower as well. I absolutely love her channel. I think she's so great and she's so fun. Just such a bright soul. I love her. We still haven't met yet but definitely I'm pretty sure we're going to meet soon because I think she also watches some of my videos. Yeah so I'm just really happy to support her and I think the glasses are genuinely so beautiful and I'm just very happy and proud to support her in this new venture. Another pair of sunglasses that I love which are also more new new to my collection. These are from Ray-Ban and they have this kind of like, how do you say, they're around here but then here they have this more like hexagony, pentagony type of shape. Super beautiful. Again, I love the gold and this kind of like darker screen. I love to wear gold jewelry. You guys know that I'm actually going to talk about these necklaces in a little bit. So I like when the sunglasses like kind of pick up on the other gold things that I'm wearing. And lastly, when I think about summer and I think about clothing, I of course love my white tops all year round, but these definitely do come a lot in handy when it's the summer. This is a new one from Mango. It's a nice like kind of knitted white top. I will have this linked down below. I of course also love like flowy white dresses and floral print dresses and anything like nice and airy. I love to wear dresses like that either with a white sneaker, something like this. You guys have seen these before. They are my Dior sneakers. I got them last summer and I wear them all the time. Another pair of great white sneakers are the ones from Vans. I wanted to get a new pair this summer. I went there and they're completely sold out. So I don't have a pair to show you, but I will pop up a picture here on the screen so you guys can see what they look like. But they are such a great, more affordable, 
but still really nice quality white shoe. Another pair of favorite shoes that I love for summer, especially with dresses and skirts and just flowy, beautiful things, are sandals like this. These I've also shown you guys, but I thought I would mention them because this is a summer essentials video and these are essential for me during the summer. So these are from Valentino. They're in this beautiful gray nude color and they've got gold spikes. Again, I love the detail of gold. I did get these recently, but before then I had the kind of like knockoff versions from Zara. I had them for years. Shoes like this you can wear with pretty much anything and everything in your closet during the summertime. You can wear them during the day or even for nighttime because I think they have that kind of more like dressed up feel to them as well. Absolutely love these. They are essential and something I would highly, highly recommend. The last thing I want to talk about are my necklaces that I have on today. These are from Miss Soma. I love dainty gold jewelry. I've seen a few questions from you guys asking where my jewelry is from and where I get these kind of dainty pieces and Miss Soma has some beautiful, beautiful selections. This top one right here has little diamantes on it. It is so beautiful. And then the one underneath has, I I think it's called like a fang. It's kind of like a little leaf. It's very, very pretty and um, I love how thin they are, but the quality is really amazing. I think dainty gold jewelry is beautiful all year round, but again, especially for the summertime with dresses, with little tops, it just kind of gives you that like little glistening effect on your body and kind of like picks up on the gold, picks up on the glow in your skin. So I love these and again, the quality is really good. I think this was around a hundred or so, but they are plated in 14 karat gold so it's a gold vermeil I believe that's how you say it the materials are good they're not going to turn your skin like a weird color you could shower with them but they're not super super crazy expensive as well so I think it's a really good balance I will have these linked below as well so that is it for my summer favorites I will make sure to do like more specific topic orientated summer videos of different things that I love so as I mentioned I'm gonna do a skincare routine very soon I'm definitely gonna do a a summer haul very soon with some beautiful dresses and tops and things that you can wear during the day and also at night. Let me know if you have any other summer related video requests that you would want me to film. I will make sure to have everything that I talked about listed and linked down below in the description box. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.